What's up, Rockstar? Welcome to your 10-minute cardio core class. I'm Coach Nisha with Team Betty Rocker, and I'm so excited to have you join me here today. So the way the format of this class is going to look is it's going to be two Tabata pairs. And if you're not familiar with Tabatas, all that looks like is going to be 20 seconds on a move, 10 seconds rest, and then returning for 20 seconds again. And we're just going to keep moving through that for each Tabata. So... For your equipment today, all you're gonna need is some space to move and an optional elevated surface, which I do recommend having handy just for modifications. And you can use a bench like I have or an ottoman, a chair, or the couch, whatever you have that's nice and sturdy. So we're gonna get right into this and we're gonna start with some mountain climbers. So you're welcome to do this down on your mat or join you on an elevated surface. And you're gonna plant your hands beneath your shoulders, step those feet back and set yourself up for a nice tall plank. So your gaze is neutral, your shoulders are over your wrists, that core is braced, your back is flat, your legs are strong. Now we're gonna start by driving that right knee in towards your chest, step it back and switch to the left knee and continue on in that fashion. And we're gonna start right now, so let's do it. So you're just gonna run it out, trying to keep your body as stable as possible. Try not to shift too much forward and backwards. You're trying to keep those arms nice and strong, holding you steady. And you can always take a little impact by just alternating step outs. And last three, two, one. Awesome. Quick 10 second break and we're gonna move on to a hollow hold. And just a quick review on how that looks. Just go ahead and meet me on your back. You're gonna brace your core by taking a little tuck to that pelvis. So that your lower back is making gentle contact with the mat and you want to maintain that contact the whole time. Now you're going to lift your shoulders off of the mat and reach those legs out and either hover them or you can keep them tapping on the mat. And here we go. So you're just going to hold that engagement, feeling that core working. It's great to start with this modification of the shorter of legs, keeping those toes tapped on the mat. And you can take your arms out beside you. You can lengthen out those legs if you're feeling strong, but if your lower back starts to come off the mat, drop those toes again and feel that strength. All right, last two and one. Awesome work. Gently bring yourself back up. We're gonna move back to those mountain climbers for 20 seconds. And then we're just gonna keep rotating through those a few times. And we'll move on. Here we go, you ready? Let's set yourself up. Hands underneath your shoulders, nice strong plank and run it out. Awesome. Really use your core to pull those legs in. Keep that breath flowing. Keep that gaze ahead of your fingertips so you're not crunching your neck. And last five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right. Now meet me back on your mat, on your back for those hollow holds. Get a little hug to that pelvis, lower back making contact. Lift those shoulders, lift those legs and reach those arms outside you or up overhead if you're feeling extra strong, but really reach with those legs if you're lifting them or tap those toes down to help support this lift and that strong braced core. And last two, one. Well done, you're doing so good. Whew. Running out of breath, let's set yourselves up for those mountain climbers again. Here we go, and let's run it out. Also be mindful that you aren't lifting your butt like this. This isn't a plank. Come back into a plank and keep stepping those legs back into that plank position. Be mindful your shoulders aren't ending up behind your wrists. And last three, two, one. Whew. How you doing? Almost there. Maybe on your back. Hollow hold. A little tuck that pelvis. Core is nice and strong. Lift those shoulders. Lift those legs. And let's hold it. Focus on that breath. Halfway there. And then always tap down those toes. If you feel your back starting to lift off the mat. In three, two, one. Awesome. All right, we be standing again, mountain climbers. Get into that plank position. And here we go. Remember, you can always switch to low impact. Just as a fact, there's really focus on drawing those knees in, keeping that core braced. 
Is your core burning it? Minus. And last three, two, one. All right. Last hollow hold. Meet me on your back. Get yourself set up. Little hug to the pelvis. Roll those shoulders off. Reach with those arms. Lift those legs if you can. Or keep those toes tapped down. Neither one is better than the other. We're meeting our bodies where they are today. When you want strong form more than anything. And last three, two, one. Well done. All right, quick sip of water. We'll move on to our second Tabata. You're already halfway through the class. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really, really burning in that core. I'm drinking Rocket Restore, which is so good for these workouts that you get into. It just sends all of the amino acids you need straight to where you need them. Okay, so our next move is going to be a tuck jump or box jump, whatever you're feeling strong in today. And a standing cross-cross, side-side crunches. And I'll show you as we move through these. So for a tuck jump, you're going to want to stand nice and tall and bring your hands to about waist height. And you're going to want to jump. So little spring back into those heels, loading the weight into those glutes. And then jump and bring those knees up to meet your palms. All right, you ready? We're only here for 20 seconds, so let's do it. So, nice and tall, core is braced. Shoulders are back and down, bring your hands there. Sit it back, jump it up, and just do that. Or you can do box jumps, which is very similar. You're gonna land on this elevated surface on your heels and make sure your knees are bent so that you don't lock out on your joints. And last three, two, one. <laughs> well done, all right. So our next move is a cross, cross, side, side. So you're standing in the middle of your mat, core is braced, shoulders back and down, bring your hands behind your head, elbows are reaching towards each other a bit, just to engage in your back. And you're gonna keep that engagement as you draw left knee to right elbow, then left elbow to right knee, and then si same sides, so side crunch. And then just keep alternating there, keeping that chest elevated, using your core to drive that knee up instead of bringing your arms down to meet your knee. And last one. Awesome. On back to those tuck jumps. You ready? We're getting right into this. Here we go. Bring it up. You got it. Try to land as lightly as you can. Doing the best you can not to shake your house, which I feel like my camera's shaking quite a bit right now. And last three, two, one. Awesome, set yourself up for those crunches. Core is braced, rib cage isn't flaring. We have it knit in, arms behind your head, and here we go. Cross it, cross it, side, side. Awesome. Really draw those knees up. Trying to keep that chest from bending over. Well done, you're rocking it. And last three, two, one. Well done, twice more for each move. Here we go. Set yourself up, core is strong. Hands at waist height. Here we go. I like to take a little tiny bounce in between. It helps me to keep my momentum. Again, keep that chest elevated. Three, two, one. Good doodly doodly. All right, cross, cross, side, side. Let's finish strong. Hands behind your head. Here we go. Cross it. Check in and notice if you are bending as a torso to bring the knee, pardon me, to bring the elbow to the knee instead of vice versa. And last three, two, one. Well done. Taking a really quick breather before our final set. 
so I'm not struggling to breathe as we work through these tuck jumps. Those are intense, right? And remember, you can always switch over to box jumps instead, but those tuck jumps are not supporting your body today. All right, you ready? Here we go. Get those jumps. Try to get height with those knees. Don't bring your chest down to your knees. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. One more move. You got this. Hands behind your head. Here we go. Cross it. Sides. Really stand strong. That leg supporting you. And you're drawing the knee out to the side, not in the front. Great work. And last three, two, one. Woo. Oh my goodness. Amazing, amazing work. Way to absolutely crush that workout. We're in and out. Got our heart rates up, the sweat rolling. I know you absolutely rocked it. And I thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.